Imagine you are tasked with enhancing the functionality of an existing software module. How do you approach the story? Here are four concrete steps senior developers take that most junior developers often skip. Watch until the end to learn why senior developers invest this effort and still complete the story faster. Step 0. The first thing senior developers do is identifying the relevant files and reading the existing code to get familiar with it. Ok, this step most junior developers also do, so let's jump right to the next step. Actually, I have seen cases of debugger driven development, but that's a story for another time, so… Step number 1. Have a look at this code. These comments just repeat what the code already says and obviously do not add any additional value. And what about these comments? They are likely IDE generated templates, which are essentially just noise in their current form. What's even worse than useless comments? Right, commented out code. We use version control, so why keep backups in the code itself? Looking closer at this code, we realize that also this code is not commented out, it is still dead, because it's unused. So while reading the code for the first time, senior developers immediately spot and remove unnecessary, redundant or dead code and comments. Step number 2. Without even reading this code, we immediately realize this code is hard to follow because of missing empty lines, which would structure it into cohesive blocks. And this code here requires us to scroll horizontally, which clearly hurts readability. It's much easier to read when lines have a reasonable limit of 80 characters. No, just kidding. My preferred limit is around 120 characters. Now have a look at this code. It actually forms a listing which finally builds a sentence, where readability is obviously best when every bullet gets its own line. Similar is true for complex conditions with more than two expressions. Those also become immediately easier to understand when split across multiple lines. As they dive deeper into the code, senior developers reformat it for readability, knowing they will revisit it multiple times before making the intended changes. By the way, senior developers commit each of these steps separately to version control. This ensures that the code review of these changes is simple and fast, and it creates a version control history that can be read and easily followed even years later. Step 3. Take a closer look at this method. It clearly does more than its name suggests. A short AP documentation can clarify this with minimal effort, and adding a to-do comment reminds us to revisit the name later. The same applies to this class. It does more than its name implies. A brief comment documents reality for future readers. And if you wonder whether leaving to-do comments in clean code is good or bad, then check out this video. At first glance, this code seems fine, but a second look makes us wonder why is this null check valid or even necessary? A comment explaining its background almost seems to be mandatory in such scenarios. And what about this code? Returning a size value of 8 seems arbitrary, but a comment clarifying its intent would make the code's purpose obvious. At this stage, senior developers already have a good idea about the code. They might not yet feel confident enough to change the code right away, but they document the knowledge they have gained, ensuring valuable insights are preserved for the future. Which brings us to step number 4. Let's look at this method. The name is quite unspecific. A more specific name would clearly make the caller's code more expressive and possibly eliminate the need for additional documentation. The same issue often applies to classes, especially generic helper classes. A more specific name not only improves readability, but also clarifies what belongs in the class and what doesn't. Let's address abbreviations. While it's tempting to save keystrokes, abbreviations will harm readability, unless they are universally understood. Lastly, consider plural naming. Using natural plural forms often makes code easier to read, compared to postfixes like list, collection or set. At this point, senior developers are pretty familiar with the code and understand how it works. They start improving it by refining names, knowing that clear naming is crucial for more significant refactoring later. With these steps completed, senior developers feel ready to dive into the actual story. But why do they spend time on these steps instead of jumping straight into the task? Of course before changing any code, it's crucial to understand it's fully to avoid breaking existing functionality. Unless the code is trivial, you will read it multiple times while working on the story. Improving the code while reading reduces the time spent rereading. Readable code reduces the cognitive effort needed to understand it, eliminating the need to translate what we see on the screen into meaning. 
This increases the likelihood of fully understanding the code, which means fewer bugs introduced during changes. Fewer bugs simply mean less time spent debugging. Ultimately, this leads to faster story completion. When finally diving into the actual task, senior developers probably start by adding tests. They would certainly follow the golden rules of testing, which you can explore in this video.